I'm Billy McMahon. Hi, my name's Jason Tucker, and we're watching Wavy Music. Um, so Indigo Velvet, um, we grew up together, four pals. Um, three of us went to school together, and Billy played football with the rest of the boys. Um, so being in younger bands before, um, going through the whole high school sort of band sort of thing, we then thought this would be, we wanted to take it a bit more serious. So Indigo Velvet came about 2014. Yeah, it was actually last month for their two-year anniversary. So, um, I mean, we released our first song um, today, actually, on this very day, and we're playing a uh, tea break tonight, which is pretty cool. <laughs> well, I was in work, and I think I was one of the last ones to know. So Billy phoned me, and I, it was my phone was keep going. I was like, well, that's right. So I went up, and he phoned me, and he was like, oh, hi, um, mate, we've got tea in the park. And I was, I, he's, he's like the biggest prankster ever, so I was like, oh, shut up, I'm working. I was like, no, we've actually got Tina Park, and like I heard him sobbing. I was like, are you kidding? I just like burst. I pe me personally, I burst out crying. It was just like overwhelming because like we, like I'm not sure if you um, saw it earlier, but we've came at the festival like what this is our fifth time now, and the fact we're playing this is just mind blowing. Like this is one of the things that we want to do, and the fact to get at this stage that we're at now is overwhelming. Yeah, I, I called you, um, so basically like we put a submission into Tea Break. And they chose, I think it was 16 bands, like 2,000 applications. So, like this is, yeah, it's something ridiculous, like 2,000 applications, yeah. Um, so you're always hoping, you're always thinking like, oh, I've got a chance. If you've not got an application, you've not got a chance to play it. So you put it in, you kind of forget about it for a while. And then um, I think, like I say, Laurie got a phone call um, and I was in work as well, we're all in work. But uh, like Jason mentioned, it's just a big, massive achievement for us, especially two years in a band. It's uh, it kind of shows like every gig you play is obviously like a wee you're getting better and better and uh, your confidence is going up your fan base is growing but this is kind of a point to be like you, like you mentioned five years we've been here and this is the first year we're playing and we'll see how many people turn up kind of thing I remember when we found out about that gig we were in London and we've loved John Cato for so long like we've always thought they're a cracking band there's not many bands that we can kind of compare ourselves to but they're a band we look up to um, so we got the email through saying um, we'd like to offer you a sport with young Kato. So I remember driving back up from like an 11 hour coach journey from London, uh, having had that news. And that was kind of the first point that, um, that was the first like big support slot we got um, in Edinburgh. And since then, I mean, like we've, we've, tried to, we've, well, we've tried to stay away from Edinburgh as much as possible, um, unless we're supporting big bands. But over the last couple of, uh, the last like six months or seven months, we've built relationships with bands that we look up to. Um, like bands like who, like for, for, for example, Farrison, we bumped into them yesterday, we seen them at King Tut stage. They've gone through the whole kind of transition of tea break, introducing King Tut's, King Tut's for a second time. Um, so in that sense, it's also like um, these bands look up to performing with them, getting to know them, meeting with them, and it kind of like inspires you to just keep going really. But as Billy mentioned, we have got all these sort of gigs that we have done. So we've gained like a lot of experiences. So as you said, build good relationships. It comes handy for when, when the likes of you want to go on a tour. So um, we write a lot more. We take everything a bit more serious. Cause like I said, at the start, we only realized we want to do. Um, if not then, now, like definitely. Um, but no, like we're always in the studio writing. So um, I, th I think we've matured as a band, probably the best word to use in that sort of content there, so definitely. No, it's been good, man. Like we've had a good time here. It's like, it, like, it's like you can't go through a day rest. You've got something that sort of bothers you, but no, um, we've had a fantastic time. Like um, one of our pals are called Uncle, Uncle Grant. Um, yeah, we we went back on the Friday night and we were sleeping and he couldn't sleep so he started like drinking at well, like three o'clock in the morning, like through to like twelve and like we all woke up like tired and he's like rolling about the floor. Like <laughs> this is like a forty one year old guy, so basically to to give you this story short because uh, people need to know like Jason's girlfriend Sophie it's his uncle so he came to our first gig literally two years ago today he came to our first gig and uh, ever since then he's just been coming he, he rodeos for us he comes along he's always in the bar drinking Edinburgh he's like he's not, I think he's more famous than us to be honest uh, I, so like, in the campsite wake up in the morning and just like we just know him as like Uncle Grant that's what he's known as and people from like Aaron people from London and stuff wake up in the morning going you're right, Uncle Grant do you want to be and it's just like it's that that's a, that's what I love about Tina Park, eh? no matter how old you are, no matter where you're from, everyone just comes together and it's a big family. Um but unfortunately last night um we were watching a couple of bands and I was absolutely soaked, like my legs were killing me, so we just thought we'll go home tonight, recharge the batteries and come back. But uh, that was only because we we're playing today we thought let's uh, let's be sensible and like have a night off yeah, drinking. Yeah, yeah. No, in fact yesterday we were in Artist Village and uh, I was having a pee and I was just standing there and I was like kinda of my zone, you know, when you've got like stage flip me having a pee. Yeah. And uh, the guy beside me turns around and goes, uh, you're right, mate. And I never really paid attention. Turns out it was like tiny temper. And it wasn't until I got back to the campsite, I was like, Jesus God, I was tiny temper and I had the chance to talk to him, but uh, there's only so much you can say when you're having a pee beside someone, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Aye, right, trying to give me stage fright. I know, I know, it sounds dodgy, eh? Like, aye, trying to temper, temper strong my manhood, aye, exactly. Right. My mum's going to be worried sick. I think, like, after Team the Park, we've been working towards this for the past two months, so all our focus has been on this. Um, after Team the Park, we've got a potential tour coming in November. So until then, it's a case of writing, tucked away in the studio, making some new music. Um, after Team the Park, I mean, that's the biggest stepping stone we've had. So you kind of, like, you've been unsigned, unsigned, and you're kind of going up and up and up. So I think um, after Team the Park, it's just going to be a case of keeping quiet, laying low, and coming back and... and I think 2017 is going to be a very exciting year for the band. You can expect a lot of new music we're going to be putting out. Um, we've been in this record, um, recording studio, so we're expecting a, a lot of new music and like, just at the end of the last quarter. Um, like Billy says, a lot more gigs. We're doing a tour in November, so um, I think we're doing like f four dates in Scotland and like four down in England. as our first tour is doing it ourselves as well. And next year will just be like attacking the whole UK and playing a lot, new music and stuff like that. It'll be good, so it's, we'll be busy and everyone will have something to look forward to, I can guarantee you that.